100 years and countless more ahead. Join us in celebrating every story. Yeah, it was intentional to go from the best Superman movie to the worst Batman movie, Batman and Robin. One of the most hated films of all time, not just superhero films, but films in general. So much so that it nearly killed the superhero genre and canceled a sequel called Batman Unchained and it led to the Nolan movies. Um, starring George Clooney as Bruce Wayne slash Batman with Chris O'Donnell reprising his Robin role. Uh, fighting Mr. Freeze played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Poison Ivy played by Uma Thurman and Bane played by the late Robert Swenson before they could freeze and plant poison the world. And yeah, it's not surprising to, to for someone to hate this movie because this movie is really, really cheesy. It's really cheesy. There's some goofy, silly moments. Of course, the bad nipples uh, and butts and the you know what, are very distracting, especially in the opening where the cl stream close-ups of it. Ew. And especially at the back, it was even more distracting. Um, and of course, and Mr. Freeze is kind of weird because he feels really sad and dramatic about his wife's death, but also he's like this crazy chilling, pun intended, uh, villain who wants to take over the world and also Say Ice Pass and sing Christmas musical numbers. And Poison Ivy is is just kind of evil for the sake of being evil. And Bane is just a mindless uh, henchman who doesn't do anything and doesn't even break Batman's uh, back. Um, and of course we can't talk about the bad gritty as the nostalgic critic says, the bad credit card, which he, which Batman does, pulls out when he says, Seven million. Ding, ding. Never leave the game without it. And uh, like the other Batman films, he has a lot of interest, but in this one, she does nothing. All she does is hang around with Bruce Wayne at the Wayne Enterprises and stays with her for just a bit. And that's it. So she's kind of pointless. And of course, like I said, with the nipples and the stuff like that, the suits, the first suits of Batman and Robin, with those things, look very off. And when I mean, so with Robin, it's kind of sad because it resembles New 52 Nightwings. Uh, but I do like the snow, the ice suit that Batman uses because it's not as distracting and barely is used when you need. Um, and I'll get past to the ending. It's pretty interesting with uh, Batman as Mr. Freeze for a cure for both Alfred, who is dying throughout the entire movie, in case you don't know, and also for a cure for his sick wife, who Mr. Freeze tries to save. And of course, bad girls in this movie played by Alicia Silverstone. Though there's two differences. One, she doesn't wear her mask, which is very weird. Only for one scene, but that's it. And she's Alfred's niece and not Gordon's daughter, which is an in uh, an interesting change, but a really unfaithful one, it too. And it's unfortunate that this is so far the only, with the session of Rosario Dawson's Lego Batgirl movie, in the Lego Batman movie, the only time we'll see Batgirl on the on the big screen in live action. That's just so far right now. Um, but like I said, the ending is pretty good, uh, as well as when Mister Freeze calling payback to Poison Ivy out there. The killing his wife for so the stopping Mr. Freeze pulled Miss the his, her plug. Um, and I do like the score. Of the movie is pretty cool, and the visually does look pretty nice. The colors does look pretty nice, though a bit too nice for a Batman movie. 
Um, so, but in the action, for the most part, it's okay, though the ice skating is a little weird. But the rest are not so bad. And, um, yeah, so, that is my look on Batman and Robin for Warner December Presents. So, peace out.